But it started over in that corner, obviously, and just worked its way up and across and damaged all the rafters down in and maybe even past the, ba the uh, bedroom. And when the kid woke us up beating on the door at 3.15, and I'm glad he did. It took us a little bit to get out of the house and stuff. And Usually we get about 10 phone calls from mom when somebody died. <laughs> so you see 10 missed calls in the morning, you're like, oh great, he died. <laughs> I finally made it over about seven o'clock. There's not a whole lot you can do anyway. Sit and watch it blaze until they finally give you the okay to go back in. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a mess. There's a pile of stuff, residue out back too, and sheetrock where they've tore out. Sheetrock in the great room. I'm not going to clean up all that. We're going to have a restoration company come in and deal with that. Uh, after, of course, I was here during the flood. After going through that, it's a real educational value as to how to handle and do things. I popped the beer, I don't know, it must have been 1030 this morning. Hey, but I, um, I told somebody, I said, hey, I've been up well over six hours. I'm deserving of this. <laughs>